What is going on guys? Welcome to the episode number 9 of the Python tutorial series for beginners. In today's video we're going to talk about file operations and we're going to take a look at how to read from files, how to create files, rename files and also of course how to write in files. So let's start with the code immediately because the first thing that we're going to learn today is how to open a file. Whenever we want to write into a file or read from a file or do anything with a file we need a so-called file stream. So we need to open a stream so that information can flow. And to do that in Python, we use the open function. So what we usually do is we define a variable, for example, file, and then we say file equals open, and then we specify a file name, for example, myfile.txt. And the second thing I have to specify here is I have to specify a mode an access mode. How am I going to access this file? Am I going to access it in writing mode or in reading mode and appending mode and so on? And we have three basic modes in Python which are reading, writing and appending. And there are some special uh, access modes that we can use like reading and writing or writing bytes. But for now just know that there are these basic three types or modes. So W would be for writing, and R would be for reading, and A would be for appending. And first of all, we're going to read from a file. But what we have here is we have a variable file that is an open file stream. So in reading mode, of course. And what we can do now is we can use this file stream to, to read from the file, of course. Now, before we get into reading and writing, let's talk a little bit about how streams work. Now, here we have our file stream opened, and Every stream that is opened needs to be closed sooner or later. So when we're not using this file any longer, at the end we should always find a file.close statement, file stream.close. Basically, we use a close method to, uh, to end the stream, to no longer use it, to just say, okay, we don't need you any longer. And this is what we always have to do with writing streams, especially with writing streams, but also with reading streams. Um, and I'm going to explain why it's, uh, why it's more important for writing streams, but for now just know when you open a, a, a file stream, you also need to close a file stream. Now, if you don't want to do this manually, what you can do, and this is oftentimes used in Python, is you can use a with statement. And you use a with statement whenever you have to work with streams. So what you could do is you could say with open and then open the file.txt. This time it's file and not my file uh, in reading mode and you can say sf. So in this case what you're doing here is you're opening a stream as f with a with statement and the benefit that you get from this or the reason why you do this is because you don't have to close the stream. Because right now here I can put all of my code, all of my code or a pass statement whatever and everything that's indented in this with statement uh, happens with the stream. So everything that has to be done in this stream or with this stream happens indented into the with statement and after the with statement we don't need the stream any longer and we close it. Now of course if you need the stream over and over again this is not the best method here but if you just need to use it once for reading text from a file or writing text into a file and then you want to close it again you can use a with statement because you don't need to manually close the file. So let's take a look at how to read a file. Now, first of all, let's create a file on my desktop here. Call it file.txt, not file x, file.txt. Okay, now I open it. File.txt. And let's put some text in here. For example, hello world. And just save it. And now what I want to do is I want to read this file into my code. I want to get the input or the content of the file. I want to get this as a string into my code. Now, I will use the uh, with statement here, but I'm also going to show you how to do this without a with statement. So let's just say with open file txt uh, in reading mode, sf, and now I'm going to say uh, content equals f dot read. And then we're going to print the content. Now when we execute this, you see we get a hello world because what, is, what it does is it says open this file stream sf. So if you want to access the file stream, you just have to access f. And then 
just save the content, save what you can read from this file. We use a read method here to just get the content of the file. And we then want to save this content that this method returns into a variable. And then we print this variable. This is what we're doing. And of course it works. Another way to do this without a with statement is to just say file equals open and then uh, file dot txt in reading mode. And then of course I would have to say content equals file dot read. And I should also close the file. Because otherwise the stream stays open. And as you can see, it works. Now writing into files works almost the same way. So instead of opening in reading mode, of course, we just open in writing mode. And instead of using the read method here, I use the write method here. So I say file.write, uh, hello YouTube, for example. Then I close the stream. I don't have to print anything here. And when I run it, you will see that nothing happens. But when I open the file right now, you'll see Hello YouTube. Let me just scale this down a little bit. You see Hello YouTube because I, I have overwritten the file by just writing it. And now the content of the file is Hello YouTube. And of course, this can also be done in a with statement here by just saying with open file.txt in writing mode, sf, and then I just say f.write, hello YouTube. So this would have the same effect. We can test this if you want, but actually I'm not going to delete this because I wanna show you something. So I'm just going to comment it out here. And as you can see, or as you will be able to see, the content is still hello YouTube. Now. Why is this close method especially important when it comes to writing? This is the question that we need to cover here. Uh, the close method is not just for closing the stream, but what it also does is it flushes the content. Because if we just um, write into the file or use the write method and don't close the stream, uh, let's say we delete the content of the file, so now it's empty. And when I now run the script here, you'll see that nothing happens. And in the file, we don't have any content because when we write something, it's not in the file yet. We need to use flush or close as a method. So we, we need to use the flush method to uh, flush everything out of the stream into the file. Or we can use the close method because the close method also flushes. So basically the close method calls the flush method if you want or flushes the stream. So it doesn't matter which one you call. Uh, the difference, of course, is when you flush the stream, the stream is still open, so you can use it. When you close it, it's closed and you cannot use it. Now, of course, when you write into a file that does not exist, it still works because when you use writing and the file does not exist, it just creates the file. But if you try to read a file that does not exist, so basically content equals file.read, when you try to do this, and the file is not here, you will get a file not found error. So this would be something that we would have to take care of when we deal with streams. This is why I mentioned in the exceptions um, episode that when we use streams, we oftentimes do try. Uh, and here we put some code, some stream code that we wanna try. Then we catch some exceptions and what we, um, then do in the end is oftentimes just use a finally statement to then close the stream. So this is what I mean by, uh, this is what I meant by uh, using exception handling with, uh, with streams especially. Now what you can also do is not only write into files, I also mentioned that you can append onto files. So let's say we already have a file here, file.txt and I have some content already in here, content. Uh, maybe I don't wanna write into this file and override it. I wanna just append some uh, text onto it. So 
What I do then is I call or I use the appending mode and then I say file.write. I think it's right. I don't think that we need to use an append method, but maybe I'm going to be proven wrong. Uh, let's see, file.write hello world file.flush I think this should work actually. Let's see. Yeah, as you can see, we just append the text. Um, we're still using the same method, the writing method, the write method, but since we're calling in appending mode and not in writing mode, we are just adding the text instead of overwriting it. Now, I can also try to append when the file does not exist, uh, and it will still work because if there is nothing, appending also creates a new file. So now let's get into some other file operations that we can do because uh, we can use file streams to write into files, to um, change the information in files, to append onto files, to read from files, but how do we rename files or remove files or make new directories or change the directory and so on? Uh, these functionalities are not offered by file streams, but we can use the so-called OS module in Python. So in this episode, we're not only learning how to deal with files, we're also learning how to import a module. So what we're doing here is we can say import OS. And then we can call all the OS methods, for example, os.rename or os.remove and so on. Or what we can also do, if we don't want to do this uh, that way, we can say from OS import star, which means basically everything. So I can say from OS import, and if I only want to uh, import two methods, for example, I can say from OS import remove and rename. But for now, we're going to import everything so that we're not too confused. Uh, OS is just a module that has functions and classes and different things in it, and to use these. Uh, I don't know, functions, you can just import the whole OS module. So in this case, we import everything. And what we can now do is, for example, um, just say mk directory um, test, for example. And when I run this, you will see that it created a directory on my desktop with the name test because this is what this function does. It makes a directory, make directory. And then we can also uh, go and navigate into that directory. So I can say change directory, test, and then I'm in this directory. Now, of course, the problem is that now the directory already exists. So, um, Actually, when I call change directory, I am now in the directory. So when I create a new file, it will no longer be created on the desktop, but in this directory. So we can check this uh, directory. I can just make another directory, uh, new dir, and delete this. And you'll see that it creates a directory in a directory. So this is how you can work with various different uh, or how you can handle files and directories. But you can also just remove files or rename files. So let's say we have a file.txt and what we can do is we can just say rename file.txt and now it's called uh, myfile.txt for example. cannot find. Oh, of course, we changed the directory, so it does not work because it looks for a file in here. So we're going to delete all this code. And now it should work. As you can see, it's called myfile.txt because it changed just the name from file.txt to myfile.txt. And what we can now do is, of course, we can also just remove the file. So basically deleting it by saying remove myfile.txt. And as you can see, it's gone. So that's basically file handling in Python. We learned how to read from files, how to append onto files, how to write into files, how to overwrite files, and also how to remove files, rename files, make directories, uh, navigate through directories, and so on. 
So that's basically what we need to know for now. We're going to need uh, with statements and file streams oftentimes in the future. So make sure you learned, you really understood what was uh, taught today or what we talked about today, because it's very important for future episodes. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video. Feel free to ask questions and give feedbacks in the comment section down below. And also subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. And thank you very much for watching. See you in the next episode and stay tuned. Bye.